Alright guys, this is Rod with Rock Jam Guitar and today we're gonna learn how to move power chords on the fretboard, okay? So power chord is a super simple shape that we're gonna have uh, if we pick power chords on the low E string we'll pick the G power chord for example we're gonna have our first finger on the third fret of the low E our third finger on the fifth fret of the A string and our pinky is going to be on the fifth fret of the D string. This is the power chord shape. You see a lot of songs being played with just power chord. Now why this is the G power chord? Because our first finger, our tonic, is on the G note. Okay. If you know your whole step and half step theory, super simple to understand, a whole step on the guitar is when you're skipping a fret. And it really doesn't matter where you're playing. All of those are gonna be whole steps. And a half step is just half of that. Is when you don't skip any frets. It's the neighbor fret there. So this is a whole step. And this is a half step. Now in music, we're gonna have whole steps among pretty much all the notes, except between E and F and B and C. So naturally, between C and D, whole step, D and E, whole step, E and F, half step, F and G, whole step, G and A, whole step, A and B, whole step, B and C, another half step. Okay, so if we start with the C here, C and D, D and E, E and F, F step, F and G, G and A, A and B, then B and C, the other half step. So all of your open strings are really nothing more than starting points to apply this whole step, half step theory. For example, this is our low E string. So the E is the zero. The very next note is the F. Half step. After the F comes the G. Whole step in between those two notes. G and A. Whole step. A and B, whole step, B and C, half step. And you can do that with every single string. For example, if we pick the D string, why not? D string, a whole step up, we have our E note. The next one is the half step F, after F, G. After G, between G and A, whole step, you skip a fret. So you can do that with every single string. Okay, now going back to our little power chord um, idea here. The power chords are gonna get the name by the notes that your first finger is pressing down. So this is the G power chord. If you move a whole step, that's now the A power chord. If you move the whole step, that's now the B power chord. Half step to a C power chord. Okay? And you can do that on the A string too. You know, if you have your A, whole step to B. B power chord. C power chord. D. And then you can have the variations on them. For example, this is the C. You go on the low E, E, F, G, A, B, C. Same sound, you have two variations of the same power chord. There is a lot of songs out there. That you can play just using power chord positions. So I started learning a bunch of songs that have power chords so you can practice the movement on that, okay? Now another good thing to mention here on this lesson is also the sharps and flats, okay? A sharp is nothing more than a symbol that's gonna raise any note half step up and a flat is a symbol that's gonna lower any note half step back, 
Okay, so for example, on the notes that you have a whole step among them, for example, E, half step to F, whole step to G. So we have F and G. Now, how about this note in the middle? That's where the sharps and flats are going to be handy. You have a G flat or an F sharp. And yes, a G flat and an F sharp are the same note. Yes, they are. How are we going to call? When are we going to call an F sharp an F sharp? And when are we going to call a G flat a G flat? Um, it depends in what key you're playing that song. So a little bit later with a little bit more of music theory, we can definitely shine a light on that too. Okay? But right now, just accept that on the second fret of the low E, you have an F sharp or a G flat. Okay? So now you can use that same power chord idea and play a G flat, for example, or an F sharp. Or in a song that you're trying to learn, there is an A sharp. Not a problem. You go back here, E, F, G, A, and then just raise that a half step up, and then you have your A sharp. This theory is also on my guitar guide, which is on the website, so feel free to go there, download the guide, it's free, and then read about this theory. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time.